we're going to walk through my process of finding compositions for interior and architecture photography as a way to give you some new insight into how you can think about things on your next photo shoot. Throughout this series, we'll photograph a kitchen, living area, and a bedroom, all with specific client goals and intentions in mind. To help with this, I teamed up with Matthew Anderson. Matthew is an A&D photographer from Kansas City with eight years experience in the industry. He also has a YouTube channel where he provides educational content for photographers and he has an online course available through AP Almanac called The Business of Architecture Photography. So Matthew, please explain what role you're gonna to play today. All right, well, because collaborating with your clients is such an integral part of composing A&D images, I'm gonna act as your client. Now, first, I'll pretend to be an architect and convey my goals for you and for the space that you're gonna photograph. So essentially, I'll set some parameters within the room that you'll have to work around when creating the image for me, the architect. Then to help show how one client can differ from another after you've successfully met my needs as an architect, then I'm gonna switch it up and start to play the role of an interior designer. Then as the designer, I'll give you a completely different set of parameters to work around and you're gonna to have to listen to a totally new set of intentions to find a second composition that works for the same space. I love it. Thanks, Matthew. Now, if you've ever seen any of my other educational content, you probably realize that I talk a lot about the mindset of this industry and profession. Well, this video is going to follow that same path. I'm not really gonna talk about the theoretical things like the rule of thirds or golden ratio, and I'm not really going to talk about technical things like camera settings or bracketing using flashes or blending exposures. Instead, I'm going to give you real world and practical thought processes of how you can think about composing images for architecture and design photography. Before we dive in though, let's quickly talk about why composition matters so much. A strong composition is one of the biggest factors in a photograph when it comes to captivating someone and keeping their attention. It can be the difference between simply showing what a space looks like and transporting your audience into that space. Your composition is what helps tell the viewer a story and elicits an emotion out of them. Many would agree that when it comes to creating a great photograph, there are a few main components that must be present. The subject matter, the lighting, the technical aspects of camera settings and post-processing, and finally, the composition. So, even if you understand the nuances of your camera settings and how to use Photoshop, and even if you're lucky enough to photograph a beautiful property at the right time of the day when the lighting is just perfect, if you don't understand how to compose an image in the way that truly brings a viewer into that space, your images will still fall a bit flat. Part of the reason I decided to create this video is because a lot of the people that have come to me for one-on-one -on -one consulting are real estate photographers who want to make the transition into shooting for other types of clients. And one of those first steps in making that transition is learning how to compose images that will tell a story for clients like architects, interior designers, and custom home builders. With that said, even if you've been shooting A&D for a while already, I'm confident that after watching this series, you'll walk away with some really valuable insight when it comes to working with your clients to produce amazing images for them. Now let's get started. 